Hello and welcome to a petrol data support video. We're going to talk about uh, connecting a GoPro Hero camera to your mobile device and ultimately to SolarStorm and or CircuitStorm. Uh, the menu systems for, for both will be, will be the same. Um, this is a common question that we get at the support desk at petrol data. Um, the GoPro APIs are a little bit finicky and sometimes there's, there's a little room for confusion when you're connecting your GoPro cameras. So hopefully we'll get you set up uh, uh, a little bit easier following this video. Um, so first of all, um, this video is going to cover the GoPro Hero 8 Black specifically, but the procedure is going to be the same for GoPro Hero 6 and newer. They all use the same type of connection method um, within the software. Um, that's invisible to you. But uh, the GoPro Hero 5s use a slightly different option. Um, I'll point out where they're going to be different. Um, and ultimately, we will have a video for those uh, those camera versions, uh, 5 and older. All right, so um, let's get the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the GoPro app installed. It's actually called GoPro Quick. And you can download that from the Google Play Store. I've already installed it here. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Make sure your camera's powered on. We're gonna jump into the GoPro app, okay? Um, it asks you to sign in. You don't actually need to sign in. We'll go to the top right corner here where there's a camera icon. We're gonna tap on that camera icon. We're gonna go connect to your GoPro. Make sure your GoPro camera is turned on at this point because it's gonna do a search to see if there are any cameras around it in order to proceed. Okay, so it knows there's a camera nearby. Um, we're gonna go ahead, like I said, this is specific to Hero 8 Black. And basically at this point, we're gonna move from our mobile device, our phone or tablet, to the GoPro camera. On the back of the camera, you're gonna swipe down just as it says there, and look for the preference button. Tap that preference button, and then you're gonna tap connections. That's the first option on that preference screen. On the next screen, you're gonna connect tap connect device which is the second option and then on uh, tap on GoPro app your camera is going to show a screen here look that shows like uh, the app is telling you GoPro app and one and two steps basically we're going to come back here and tap continue on your phone or uh, tablet device it's going to do another search and ultimately it will find it and it'll ask to do the pairing procedure. Okay, so it did find a GoPro. We are trying to pair with a Hero 8 Black here. So we're gonna go ahead, tap connect and note this prompt here, go pair with GoPro 2605. I'm gonna tap it here so I don't uh, time out. Um, my camera flashes a message that says connection successful. Now, just to refer back to that GoPro 2605, um, that is uh, a name that you'll want to write down somewhere, uh, take a screen cap as you're doing this process or whatever it is. Um, that name is going to be, we're going to use that later on within SolarStorm and CircusStorm uh, to connect to the camera. At this point, you can go ahead and uh, name your camera um, if you want. Uh, we've already connected it before uh, and it's already been named. So I'm just going to leave that there and we're basically ready to go. Okay, so within SolarStorm, um, we're going to configure your GoPro camera. So we go up into the top left corner of the screen, okay, for the menu, and scroll down to settings. And then scroll down to video capture and analysis. We're selecting a Wi-Fi camera. And there's no camera currently configured. So we'll tap Wi-Fi camera source. And we are connecting a Hero 8, so that would be Hero 6 Plus. Now, I've obviously done this before, so it's already pre-populated the, the, um, the camera. But what you, what you want to do is tap on this camera Bluetooth address. It may be blank or it may be populated. What you want to make do is make sure that you go and find that GoPro uh, number name. Okay, this is, this is the actual device. And this is a step that uh, often gets missed. Okay, from here, you can select your default video quality that you want to your GoPro to record on. And uh, SolarStorm can also automatically retrieve videos between runs. Um, you can turn that off 
you can download just the low resolution, which is typically good enough for uh, in, in between run analysis. Um, or if you choose to, you can go ahead and try the high resolution download that will take longer naturally. Calibrating video recorder, we will cover that in a separate video. I think it just warrants just enough. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it, what it does is it helps sync any downloaded video from your specific camera to the log data. Um, just there's always a little bit of a lag between asking it to asking your camera to record wirelessly to when it actually records, um, and doing this calibration just helps sync that up that tiny little bit uh, uh, more accurately. Um, basically, at this point, we go tap the back, back arrow to get out, go back to the logger, and if we want to test it, we can just go ahead and start the logger here. And you'll see the GoPro BLE icon in the lower right corner. Right now it's black. Notice that uh, it, there's a little connecting Wi-Fi message. These cameras do actually connect over Wi-Fi, even though there's that Bluetooth component, um, the actual controls tend to happen over Wi-Fi. And now you see the GoPro BLE icon there turn green. Now we're ready to go. Um, unfortunately, I am indoors. I don't have GPS turned on or I'm not getting a GPS signal. So uh, the logger will never get to the ready state, unfortunately. If it did get to the ready state, what you would see on the left side there, uh, the white space, there would be a start video button and then we would be all ready to go. You tap that um, at the staging line and uh, the GoPro will start recording. The GoPro icon would then turn red to indicate that it's recording. So at this, bit, at this point, I'm going to stop that. Um, and uh, that basically covers it, um, covers the connection uh, of the GoPro uh, and configuration within uh, SoloStorm. And like I said, CircusStorm will be very similar in terms of the menu options. Thanks for watching.